Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark. I'm here in the studio with Steve, and today we're talking about iMovie. <laughs> yes, iMovie. iMovie. I, and Final Cut Pro? And Final Cut Pro. Oh. I discovered on a recent uh, scuba trip to Catalina how awesome iMovie can be for a rough cut, rough cut editor. iMovie on, on the phone. Yes, iMovie right on the phone. Oh. It's actually pretty powerful. I was really surprised what you can do with it. So I thought... Wouldn't it be great to start a movie on the iPhone and then finish it in Final Cut Pro 10? Ah, so move from that to Final Cut Pro. Yeah, exactly. And it's actually really easy, but there's a couple of key steps along the way that you want to make sure that you have your T's crossed and your I's dotted to make sure it works all right. But great. It's great. But before we do, I just want to point out all the footage that I'm going to be showing, this underwater mm -hmm. footage that I shot with this amazing little housing. This is called the Watershot Pro. And uh, it's got an O-ring seal. It's got this big, big... Uh, Plexiglass back, so you so can you see your whole screen. Oh yeah, uh -huh. it's fantastic. It, the video Who makes it. Um, it's called Watershot Pro. Okay. Right, and uh, it's got a again an O-ring seal, and it's just a um, it's just a great little device for shooting underwater. Nice. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that. All right, so we should jump into the iPhone. Yeah. Okay, Mark. So here we are in iMovie for iOS on my iPhone six, and you can see here I already have a project started called Kate Dive. So I'm going to do is tap that. And it's going to open up, and I have the option to edit the movie. I'm going to tap edit, and here is my movie. And what I'm going to do is just swipe across, and you can see here that I have my first shot, and I've got a transition there to the next shot. I've mm -hmm. got a filter applied to that clip. Look at this. I actually did a split edit. So I heard uh, Katie, my daughter, start speaking here under this shot. I'll play a little bit of this for you. It was beautiful down there. It was really peaceful just to... Okay, so I got a split edit here. I'll and then the green is a, the under, green, a music track? Or the music, yeah. Thing? It's okay. actually a theme music track called Simple. Okay. But yeah, they uh, you pick a theme and it adds music. But don't care about that because I'm going to swap that out later when we get yeah. to Final Cut Pro. It's only means to just kind of cut to something. And uh, I have another shot here. But here's what's cool. You can do some fairly sophisticated things. Look, here's a, here's a cutaway. She talks about some fish here, and I cut away to it right here. I'll play a little bit of this for you. Of course, I saw the, the bright orange Garibaldi and... Um, some bass and these tiny... There you go. So she talks about the fish and we see them. But here's what's really neat. You can do really sophisticated things like um, picture in picture effects. So if I tap that little clip up there and then tap this button over here next to the speaker, I can then choose this picture in picture effect. And you can see a picture. Nice. Yeah, wow. it shows up there. And then if I tap this little cross button over here, I can now click and drag this to a new location like that. And let's see how this looks. I saw the, the bright orange Garibaldi and... Um... Okay, there's my picture in picture. Well, the thing about this is you're never going to cut a full television show or feature on this, but right. it's a great right. little rough cut editor to get started on something. You can make a quick assembly edit right there in the field, right on your phone. Right there on the phone. Nice. It, works, it works really great. Nice. Now, I'm ready to upload this, but before I do, there's a couple of things that you're going to want to you're gonna want to check. Uh -huh. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, tap out and go into uh, my system settings. And I'm going to scroll down to iCloud. This is very important. Under iCloud, under iCloud Drive, you're going to want to make sure that iMovie uh, is enabled. enabled. Okay. That's very important. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to move your project you across. You will be able to upload it. Uh -huh. Right. So back to iMovie. And back in iMovie. And I'm ready to, to share this. So I'm going to click Done or Tap Done. Excuse me. I'm on mm -hmm. a phone. And there's a little uh, share button at the very bottom. Yeah, same very thing similar. We use for photos or anything. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that. And there's some options here for how, you know where you want to share it. There's there it is. iCloud Drive. iCloud Drive. Okay. Right. Now all I need to do is tap that, and it will it'll allow me to choose either a video file or an iMovie project. Now let me explain something. A video file is just what it sounds like. It's a standalone video file. You're not going to edit it further. It's, it's like a rendered movie. It's a rendered movie. Okay. Now that's nice, but I want to continue working on this. So that's why there's another option, mm -hmm. iMovie Project. Now let me explain what happens when you choose that option. I'm not going to go ahead and upload it because I've already done that and we don't want to sit here and wait for this right. file to upload. But once it uploads, it's, it uploads the entire bundle, it, a, a project with all the assets. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing. It uploads it right to iCloud for you. Nice. Okay. So even small projects can be fairly large, so you got to just keep in mind it could take some time. It takes some time to do so. Right. So I'm not going to upload it, but I am going to jump back into 
I'm moving now. Okay. Right. So you're leaving your phone and you're back leaving to your Mac. Leaving my phone back. Right. Back to my okay. Mac. Let's assume for a moment that I've already uploaded it yeah. to iCloud. And so eventually you're going to Final Cut, right? But you're eventually, using, you're but using you, iMovie on the Mac to get there. Yes. And that's a very important. You have to use iMovie, which is free to yeah. get there. And very important point, you want to make sure you have the latest version of iMovie on your phone or your iPad and the latest version of iMovie iMovie on your Mac. Mac to work. Okay. For your work. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is take my mouse up to the file menu and we go just down here to import iMovie iOS project. Uh, final, excuse me, I said Final Cut. <laughs> iMovie <laughs> takes me right to the iMovie folder in iCloud. In iCloud. It knows right. where to go. There uh -huh. it is. Like Kate Dive iMovie mobile. Nice. Just select that. By the way, I tried selecting that straight away with Final Cut to avoid this step. Yeah. Nothing doing. Not going to work. No. Yeah, you've got to no. go through iMovie. You've got to go through okay. iMovie. So click import and go ahead. It just imports my, uh, my project, all the assets, and check it out. Here is my movie, exactly as I showed you on the iPhone. Let me shift Z. Z. Uh -huh. And look, there it is. There's my tr transitions. There's the split edit. There's my cutaways. Everything nice. is right so there. It just brings everything from iMovie on iOS to iMovie on the Mac. Yep, okay. and look, and there's all the clips. It brought in every clip from the phone. It's now part of my library. Okay. Isn't that cool? Beautiful, yeah. yeah. And looks familiar. It looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> one, la one last step. It's pretty easy. So we're ready to send this project to Final Cut Pro. So I'm down here in the timeline. I'm going to go up to the file menu and choose Send Movie to Final Cut Pro. Gathers all the assets, gathering all the data, and now it's importing from iMovie. Launches Final Cut. Launches Final Cut, and remember, That's there great. it is. It creates a library called iMovie, iMovie Library. library. Nice. And inside, I get an event called Kate Dive. Okay. And there's one item in here, Kate Dive. That's my project. That's if project. I double click uh -huh. on it, check it out. Here is my project that started on my phone. Everything's here, my transitions, my split edit, and there's my, my cutaways. It's all here. So everything's been translated. Everything's been translated. The only thing you don't see, the media isn't brought through. Okay. It's just the project. But that's, if you really need access to the media, you could you shift F shift on any F. Of those, now, right? here's the thing about that. Yeah. You do that, you get this weirdly named, you uh, know, file that's, yeah. it was a name that way somehow by. But you get you know, the full range. I can see you get yeah. the full clip, not just the part in the timeline. Right, you get the full clip so, there. So you have all the handles you need from what you included in the iMovie project. You get the full media. I think that's very important. So if I hit Shift F or Katie, you could see I'm only using a little portion of me. There's a lot more of the interview here yeah. I can pull from. So Mark, I have to tell you, this is fantastic. You could start a movie on iMovie and Get yeah. it in into Final Cut Pro through iMovie, and it's it just works. That's great. really great. So if you're somewhere you've just got your phone, you can literally start editing and get a jump on things, and then a quick pass through iMovie on the Mac into Final Cut, and you're good to go. And and I should point out one other thing: with the new iMovie, you can now uh, edit in 4K. So if you shoot 4K on your iPhone 6s, you can end up in 4K. In Final, Cut, in Final and, Cut and doing all the scaling and stuff. There's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. Nice. That's a really cool tip. A very useful thing, too, for anybody who's shooting with these phones that are just getting better and better. Excellent. Awesome. Great tip. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, please check us out on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. All the good social media stuff. RippleTraining.com for tutorials on everything Final Cut Pro Motion. Uh, and also on the App Store for iMovie. You can check that as well if you're interested in doing the iMovie thing. So um, thank you once again for watching, and uh, we'll be back here on MacBreak Studio.